Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany. If you are new here, I create cooking, cleaning, and lifestyle videos here on my channel. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're over on Instagram, connect with me over there. I post a lot on my stories and on my timeline. Today's video, we are going to be cleaning my master bedroom. Um, there's a lot to do in here, so you can see this is an overview of what the room is looking like now. I need to clean up the dresser, I need to get rid of that box, need to do some laundry, make the bed, get rid of this blanket here, put that back in the closet, and just tidy the whole space up and vacuum. Um, I need to put my husband's airsoft boxes away and just fold some laundry and get all of this put up. So I'm just going to show you this overview and then we will get started. So typically I like to start by making the bed. Making the bed just makes me um, get in the mood to clean the rest of the room and then it just makes the room feel so much more inviting and cozy and it feels good to get into a nice made bed at night. Not every night or every day does my bed get made but I definitely try to make this a priority um, because making the bed is like having a clean kitchen. It just makes your space feel so much more tidy and clean. that our bed is made I am also going to make my son's bed um, he does always have a sheet on the mattress in his bassinet however I do like to cover it with a cozy blanket just because it is a lot warmer especially with him sleeping by the window um, so I'm just gonna change out his bedding and get him something fresh and cozy as well Now the bed is made and it just feels so good. I love a fresh made bed. It just looks so pretty and believe it or not, most people say when they don't make their bed, it makes them not want to crawl back into it, but it certainly makes me want to crawl into it. So now I'm going to tackle the rest of the space. Um, this wall over here just needs some help. We had this blanket out because our blankets and sheets were getting washed so we slept with a different comforter that night so I'm gonna fold that back up get that put back away into the closet and just try to um, tidy up this wall it always seems to collect a lot of stuff over here so I'm just gonna get that space all nice and clean Now it's time I work on all of these clothes on the chair. That darn chair is a collect-all in our space. Every time we have clothes that need to be hung up, I procrastinate on hanging them up, so I throw them on the chair and that's where they stay for however long until I finally get the bug to hang them up. So today I got the bug and I'm going to hang them suckers up.
I really need to get some type of laundry routine down because I have no problem getting the clothes to wash and to dry, but as soon as they're in the basket, oh man, y'all, they stay there forever. So I need to figure out a laundry routine and get that move in. So I'm just going to hang this stuff up, get it back in the closet, get all the airsoft boxes put in the closet, and just this space much more tidy. Um, put my husband's airsoft gun away, and this one does stay along the wall because he is planning to use that this weekend. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm definitely going to get some laundry done, folded, and just get this space looking so much better. So now I'm going to go to cleaning our nightstand tables. They definitely needed a good dusting and a good wiping down. So I'm going to wipe both of those down. And y'all, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know. Are you cleaning along with me? Or are you just watching for some motivation? I would love to hear what you do when you watch my videos. And I hope that this video will give you all of the motivation you need to clean a space in your home or to clean along with me. Since I dusted the end tables in the bedroom, the dresser really needed it too, so I am going to dust all this down and wipe it down. Um, living in a mobile home, if you live in a mobile home, you know things get dusty very, very quickly. Um, so dusting is definitely a once a week chore. Um, so I'm going to get this done now and get this all wiped off and make this look nice and shiny. So now I am going to vacuum all the floors. I really love clean floors and vacuum lines. And after I was done vacuuming, you can see there is that black spot on the carpet. That must have been from some oil on my husband's pants um, when he knelt down to put his stuff away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this home store heavy traffic carpet cleaner. This is from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, this is the best carpet cleaner ever. So I'm going to use this on the carpet and you guys will see just the transformation it does. It's so wonderful. So once I spray it on the carpet, I basically let it um, bubble down, if that makes any sense. These bubbles will get a lot more transparent. Um, so I'm going to just let that sit for a while. I'm going to go do some other tasks, but seriously, you guys, if you have not tried this Dollar Tree carpet cleaner, I am not sponsored by them by any means. It's just a product I have used for many, many years that I love and I stand by. I have gotten coffee stains out of my carpet. I've gotten red sauce um, from like lasagna or spaghetti. Um, I have gotten juice stains out of my carpet, like you name it, I have gotten it out of my carpet. So definitely give this a try the next time you're at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to finish vacuuming the rest of the bedroom while I am letting that sit and then we will vacuum that up. Now that it has more 
um, translucent, like transparent color, we are going to vacuum this up and you will see the transformation, y'all. I'm not kidding. You have to try it. It just makes me so excited when I use it and then pick it up. It's, it's so satisfying, y'all. So satisfying. You can see where the wet spot is. This is only darker because it's wet. Otherwise, stain. Gone. Can you believe it? Like, looks like the rest of the carpet except for that wet spot. But like I said, that wet spot will go away and you will never know that it was even there. Best carpet cleaner ever. I am telling you, if you have never tried this and you have kids, you really need to try it. Like, for a dollar, there's nothing you can lose and I'm not sponsored by Dollar Tree or this brand or anything. I just have used this for years and years and I've never bought any other carpet cleaner. So I'm telling you this works. It's wonderful. That is literally only just because it's wet. Otherwise it'll go away and the stain was never there. And so you guys can see once it had dried, you cannot tell where that stain ever was. It's so wonderful. I really do love this carpet cleaner. And definitely having lighter carpets and kids, it is something we needed. So now the bedroom is all clean. It looks so much nicer. I'm so glad I, I tackled this task today. I'm so glad you guys came along with me. I hope it gave you some motivation to tackle a space in your home. We got a good stain out of the carpet. I do have that basket of clothes to put away in my kids' room, but they are sleeping. So we're going to leave that there. We leave the pack and play here. We don't have a good spot for our vacuum, so we leave that here as well, but the room is so much more tidy, y'all. It makes me so happy. So I hope that this gave you some motivation that you needed to tackle a space in your home today or to clean along with me. And then comes the part where I thought I cleaned the whole room and then I forgot this coaster here on the floor. And then my husband's clothes that I put on the drum box there. But the rest of the room, I promise, it's tidy and clean. I keep my tripod here. Um, just to keep it out of the way, but it's so much better and just so much more enjoyable. I just wanted to pop back in and say thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you, and I'm so glad you're here and joining this community with me. I thank you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.